wish we could just stay out here all day. Yeah, me too. No such luck. Oh, we better be heading in. Never should have given you that watch. Shirt of mine is, do you? Nope. Sorry. What's cooking? A turkey loaf for the picnic. It's a recipe for my home ec class. I just hope I know what I'm doing. It smells promising. Don't look at me. Why? Something different? Very funny, Dad. You better start doing or undoing whatever you need to to get ready. Eureka Springs tomorrow. Pick up that Dutch mare. Okay. Hey, that makes uh, six borders. It's almost a full house. <laughs> Nora? Well, come on in, Neil. Horses aren't going to attack you. I thought I might wear that old 50s bowling shirt this afternoon with a pair of chinos. What do you think? Sounds good. You look great. Know where the shirt is? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, how about help me look for it? Sure, when I'm done here. We have to leave in an hour. Well, then maybe you should have thought of it earlier. Now I'll look for it, Dad. You don't need to do that, Simon. That's no problem. I mean, we could probably get this into a ducktail. If you really want to go the distance. Sure. If he is going for broke, why not me? Cool. Sure you don't want to ride in the parade with us this year, Nora? Positive. But I admire your persistence. I won't ask again. Oh, yes, you will. Luis, did you check on Perseus's leg? Yeah, we should wrap it. Let's do that now. Get the liniment. I don't think we have enough gauze. Whoa. Don't say anything. I'd feel ridiculous enough. No. If I was visiting from another planet, I'd probably think you were very hot. Oh, well, I'm sure you mean that as a compliment. Well, of course. <laughs> How was your ride? Oh, it was great. How come you never take me riding? Oh, we'll go tomorrow. Really? Sure. Hey, T minus 50, let's hop to it. Yes, yeah, sir. Are you on schedule? I'm T minus 80. Too bad. You'll have to go like that. <gasps> I'm on schedule. I'm on schedule. <laughs> First century. We are the only insurance company without an email address. Now, wait a minute. I am this close to being computer literate. Flea is giving me lessons. You surf the web. The net. You surf the net. 
I've been threatening to quit unless Neil starts pulling his weight at the office. Don't get your hopes up. You still can't program our VCR. Uh, a few more years, I'll have it nailed. I don't want anything to do with any of it. This turkey loaf is world class. Oh, Clea's gonna be happy. She's been working on it since dawn. Where is she? I'll give her my review. She went off to talk to her boyfriend. Boyfriend? You let that child have a boyfriend? She's 15, Oz. Seems like yesterday you were 15. Your mom would come by and carp about all the boys you were seeing. <laughs> it's me you're talking about there, Iris. Somebody get me out of this. It's okay. Nora never listened to her mother about the boys. I was just being consistent. I never listen to my mother about anything. <laughs> hey, you look very cool out there today. Not too dorky? No, cool. Oh, well then maybe I'll keep my hair like this. Don't push it. <laughs> so who wants cherry pie and homemade ice cream? Pile it on. Nora? I could, Iris, thanks. Neil? Absolutely. Uh, on second thought, I'd better pass. Oh, come on, one little piece? I'd hear about it later. <laughs> Poor Neil, he's so abused. Simon, just in time for pie a la mode. Oh, sounds good, Iris. This bust is out of this world. What's her secret? She could tell you, but then she'd have to kill you. I use crushed almonds. Almonds? Come on, Nora. Let's go make the rounds. Do a little PR. Hey, Mom, let's dance. What? Come on, dance with me. <laughs> okay. How about sneaking a little piece of pie now? with a big scoop of ice cream. <laughs> Having fun, George? I always have fun. Is uh, Nora here? Not over there. Ms. Wetzel, how you doing? Neil, about the burst. Got a policy for that? Sounds like I'm too late. I'm not too late for hail season. Good afternoon, Miss Kramer. Good afternoon, Neil. I hear you're retiring next spring. You looking forward to it? Oh, I'll miss my students. I'm sure Simon is wishing that I'd retired last year. Oh, no. But there really is no reason for him to have failed that first exam. As I wrote in the note that I sent home with him, Simon is a very bright boy. He's just not applying himself. Right. Right, well. I'm sure he'll shape up. I know he will. I want to talk to you, Simon. I ran into Mrs. Kramer. Explain yourself, Simon. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad, but trigonometry is just really hard. I'm not talking about your grade, Simon, although I'm very unhappy about that. I'm talking about the note Mrs. Kramer sent home with you, the note to your mother and me. You just threw it away? You didn't think we'd find out about it? How long did you think you could keep it from us? I knew about the note, Neil. Simon gave it to me. He's promised to work harder. He's got the whole rest of the semester to catch up. And all of this was to be kept from me? No, I just thought you'd get upset and make too much of it, so I didn't say anything. Dad, Dad, don't be mad at Mom. This whole thing's my fault. I'm the one who's flunking trig. Simon, you don't need to keep running interference for your mother, OK? And as for you, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I expect you to make up for it. 
There will be studying in this house every day. Horseback riding will be confined to the weekends, and if your grades aren't up to snuff, there will be no horseback riding at all. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Well, if someone could explain the point of trig to me, maybe I could get into it. Well, once you pass, you'll never even have to think about it again. Trigonometry doesn't exist in the real world. Really? You know, that's enough. Let's go for a ride. No, I can't. Dad grounded me. Promised me I'd study. But you promised me we'd go riding. Yeah, that was before I got busted. So, why can't you do both? Easy, 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 easy. Hey, slow down. You'll spook the new whore. You wouldn't really mind if we went for a ride, would you? Did you get your homework done? Yes, he did. We both did. Almost. Almost means you didn't, Simon. Almost means almost. We won't be out long. We can finish when we get back. Please, Mom, it's such a beautiful day. All right. Half an hour, okay? Deal. Oh, can I? Can I ride his dad? Sure. Half an hour means half an hour. No almost. I know you're going to leap up and scare me. This isn't funny. Simon? Simon? Simon. Such a sweet horse. There are a lot of good things about <laughs> Mom! What happened? Sad 
not through Simon. Where is he? At the bend in the river. Get help. Are you okay? What's wrong, honey? No, no, slow down. I can't understand. Something's happened to Simon. Leah, what is it? That never fucks. Never gets spooked. I don't know. I don't know anything about horses. I've always been afraid of their riding. You're saying what happened is my fault? Of course not. No, please, please. It's not a question of blame. Oh, I see. You're letting me off the hook. Nora, please don't do this.
feel like talking? No. Well, you just have to get through this. Get through it. You find a way to get through it. Dad? Stay here. I heard a shot! Sad's gone. Nora? Miss Mahler? You've given your wife a strong sedative. It's just taking effect. She'll sleep the better part of tomorrow. I'd like to keep her under observation for a couple of days. She's in no shape to leave here. And I think it would be unwise for her to attend your son's funeral. She'd never forgive me. Then you might want to postpone it a few days. When she's ready to leave, I'll give her an antidepressant to help her get through the days ahead. What about the years ahead, Tom? I think there's maybe no heartache greater than outliving your own child. You don't ever recover from it. You just learn how to endure it. Neil, if it's any comfort, Simon's death was instantaneous. He didn't suffer. Well, then I guess he'll be the only one. Please.
Nora's come back? Oh, not yet, but she will. I don't want it here when Nora gets home. If it comes back, take it to the auctioneer. Sells that? Nora doesn't want to see that horse again, ever. Are you sure that she wants Just to? Just do it. If you don't eat, they won't let you go home. I just want to sleep. All right. Oh, excuse me. You know, this is the same room you had when they took out your tonsils. <gasps> You're not dreaming, baby. I'm really here. Oh, Mama. So I was dead. I know. <laughs> I know, honey. Stuff. Climb over two months worth of junk mail. I can wait, thanks. Sorry I didn't bring you anything from New Mexico. I thought I was gonna be there a while longer. It's okay, Grandma. to register in, in my head. Maybe because I wasn't here, but I just can't accept the fact that Simon has suddenly ceased to exist. How's Clea taking it? She said maybe ten words to me since I came. That's eight more than she said to me. I think she's still in shock. I don't know what to say to her. I want to be incredibly strong and reassuring, but when I try, nothing much comes out. Good grief. From friends and neighbors. Couldn't they have spread it out a little bit, like, say, over the next five years? Hello. Oh, sure. Okay. Well, I'll pick something out. Does it have to be a suit? Simon hates suits. Look, I'll pick something out, OK? Bye. I could use Nora to help with this. Well, Nora didn't put herself in the hospital, doped up and tied to a bed. She went crazy, Maggie. You can't believe. Well, you weren't here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be second guessing you and the doctors. Well, maybe I am. But don't you think Nora would come out of this a lot faster if she were home here with her family? I don't know. I don't know how to pull Nora out of this. Nora always decides what's best for Nora. And that's the reason to abandon her now? Come on, Maggie, I haven't abandoned her. Well, you haven't exactly taken charge of her either, have you? That's an interesting criticism coming from someone who allowed her daughter to be raised by a grandmother. Nora demanded to live here with my mother and the horses. You don't think I'd rather have had her with me? Uh, 
I was out of line. I'm sorry. We need to be allies in this. Apology accepted. This might be chicken, but I wouldn't swear to it. It's fine. Whatever. You can second guess the doctors if you want to, Maggie. But I'm putting my faith in them. I don't pretend to know better. Sleepyhead. How are you feeling? Mm. I don't want to. You don't want what, sweetie? You can't make me. Make you what? It's no use. What's no use, Nora? To go on. Busting you out of here. There. I'll take it up to her. Wait a minute. service. I don't want anything. Too late. It's here. Don't be cheerful, Neil. I can't stand it. Did you take your medication? I didn't bring Simon back. It's not going to do that, honey. Well, then how is it going to make me feel better? Nothing is going to bring Simon back. We have to find a way to go on without him. Nora, there are things that have to be done today. We have to decide what Simon's going to wear. I have to go to sleep. I have to go to sleep now. I can't do this alone. I have to sleep now, Neil.
Thanks, Dad. We'll come back. Oh, she did come back. Yesterday. It took her to be sold. She'll be all right. You should get a new home. Your dad thought it'd be best for your mom. I guess maybe he's right. Mom loves Zad. She loves Simon more. And Zad killed Simon. It's my fault. You won't say it because you're afraid to, but we both know it's my fault. It's not your fault. Yes, it is. I taught him to write. Maybe not well enough. And didn't always make him wear his helmet. You let him out that day against your wishes. If it's not my fault, whose fault is it? I don't want to live here anymore. You don't really mean that. I don't want to see this place as long as I live. I want to sell the farm and the horses. We can return the boarders to their owners and help Louise find another job. Nora, don't you think maybe this is the medication talking? I'm not on the medication. I didn't take it. I wanted to remember today. I wanted to be clear. I 
I'm clear. Maybe it is a good idea. You know, leave here for a while. Move into town. Till Nora feels better. I don't have a cold, Neil. I lost my son. I am not gonna feel better. I lost my son too, Nora. Clea lost her brother. Maggie lost it's her grandson. It's not the son. same. I was in labor for 48 hours. Simon almost died. I almost died. We have a bond. It's ours. We had a bond. I think you should leave here for a while. The three of you move into my house, and I'll come out here and take care of the farm till we're all ready to switch back. Is that all right with you, Clea? I don't have to ask if it's all right with you. You've never liked this place. Never less than now. privacy than you've ever had. It'll be a whole floor away from us. That's fine. Clea, I was thinking. Fran is really overworked. How would you like an after-school job in my office at a fair wage? I'd like it a lot, Dad. Good. Here, let me take that up. throw it away like it was last week's garbage. My mother didn't leave the farm to me. She left it to Nora, and this is what she wants. Well, selling the farm won't help. She loves it here. Can't you make her see that? I've never had much influence on Nora. No one ever has except my mother. Simon. Her owner's found another stable that'll take her. Only three more boarders left. Don't get rid of Nora's horses. Go ahead and put them over in my barn. They'll be there for her when she comes back to her senses. <laughs> okay. Hey, Louie. I could use an extra hand over at my place. Have you ever milked a cow? <laughs> How hard could it be? Well, why don't you just come on over and find out? <sighs> Thanks. Justin, I spent all day with kids and teachers who knew Simon, but no one even mentions him. People just don't know what to say. His friends are all probably hating me because I'm so alive and he's dead. Clea, you sound like a nut when you talk like that. I don't want to hear it. I mean it. How come you never let me talk about it? Because it's a bummer. Look, I'm really sorry that Simon's dead, but no one's to blame except for the horse he thrown. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. Don't say that. Hey, I'll pick you up after work and uh, we'll go do something fun. Whatever you want. Okay? Okay? All right. You won't volunteer, so I'll ask. How are things at home? The move into town hasn't helped. If anything, she's worse. I don't know how to take care of her. Who's taking care of you? I can't worry about me right now. I have too much else on my mind. Look, I shouldn't be saying this, but that's never stopped me. You're on your own in the best of times. Nora is never there for you. 
She always just thinks of herself. No. There's another Nora that you don't really know. The Nora I fell in love with. Where's she been all these years? Oh, she's still there, Fran. Somewhere. That's what keeps me in the game. Hey, Pumpkin. Hey, Fran. Hey, Dad. Hi. You have gotten things so organized around here, I actually had time to go and get my nails done. Oh, nice. <laughs> There you are. Clea's with Justin. We're on our own. I stopped by Castelli's and picked up some dinner. You want to eat now, or should I keep it warm in the oven? I don't care. Whatever you want. What I want, Nora, is for you to come back to the world. Our world. Our world had Simon in it doesn't exist anymore. Well, maybe what we need to do is make a new start. A couple of months ago, I got a feeler from the home office asking me if I'd be interested in the job of regional manager in Seattle. I said no. I knew there was no way you'd ever leave the farm. Today, I found out the job is still open. Everything would be different. A new city, a new home, a new beginning. Take him. Well, we don't have to decide right this second. It's a good job, isn't it? I don't want to do anything you'd regret. It's fine, Neil. Take it. You really mean that? I can give you a reason for every dollar he's got in the bank. Do you know that he's trying to drive us out of our home because he doesn't like music? That's sort of a stagger, isn't it? And how? Believe me, the name of Haskell is pure poison around here. I'm coming with you. I'm coming too. I called the fire trucks. Where are they? Well, they better get here quick. Where get back? We, we gotta get the animals out of there.
Could have been worse, I guess. That's the way you have to look at these things. Could have been worse. I always remember that big fire when we were kids. Wiped out half the farms this side of Highway 96. Burned all your crops and then stopped just before it got to the house. Yep. Yeah. My mother refused to leave. She stood her ground with this big garden hose, looking the fire in the eye and just daring it to mess with Grace Hammond. <laughs> she was a brave lady. Oh, she was just a stubborn one. Iris. Oh, now what are you two doing here? You both have to be at work in the morning. Oh, don't you worry about that. I told them you saw lightning at the tool shed. That's right, followed by flames. It was definitely caused by lightning. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll regroup in the morning, assess the damage. I'm sure glad you're here. So am I. Nor and Clea haven't come back yet? Hmm, not yet. You're safe now. Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah, could you get him some hands? Yeah, sure. It's okay, it's all right. See, it's all right. No reason to be scared. Come on, boy, it's okay. I want to talk to you about something, and I want an honest answer, okay? It's nothing bad, I hope. There's a chance, I don't know how real it is right now, but it's a chance that I might get offered a job, a good job, in Seattle. Your mother's in favor of it, but I wouldn't do it against your will. You'd leave Mom and me? No, we'd all go. The idea is to make a fresh start. Leave the bad stuff behind us. I think it would be good for your mother. For you, it would mean leaving Justin, your friend, your grandmother. Of course, she spends half her time traveling. She could just work Seattle into her schedule. Can I let you know? Of course. It's a lot to think about, I know. You sweet old guy. You got pretty scared last night, didn't you? Good boy. <sighs> Sad. Shane Gorman said that he saw you and Allison blubbering in the hall before school. Blubbering? Was that his word or yours? I, I don't know. What's the matter? Well, it better be his word, that's all. Oh, okay, it was his word. Justin, have you ever suffered a loss? And I'm not just talking about your CD collection, which you stupidly left in an unlocked car. Oh, wait a second. Are there suddenly two classes of people here? Those who have lost a loved one and those who haven't? Maybe. Look, Clee, how long is this going to go on? I mean, I can deal with it for a while because I care about you, but I can't spend the rest of my high school days weighed down by a lot of drama. Justin, if you had ever given me a ring or anything, I would be throwing it in your face right now. Well, Clee, don't you want me to walk you to work? I'd rather crawl there over broken glass than go with you. See what I'm talking about? All this drama! If I did go, I wouldn't leave you high and dry. If I've been grooming you to be an agent anyway, we'll just speed it up, get you licensed and ready to take over the agency. 
Nora's actually going along with this? Absolutely. She can't function here. Moving away is the best solution. Leaving behind all the reminders of what happened. I'm not trying to sound like a therapist, but have you given any thought to staying here and dealing with it? It's easy to say things like that. Try living it, Fran. That's my point. Try living it. The pain is going to Seattle right along with the rest of the baggage. Your running away is no way... Take the new job, Dad. I called about the job. They're going to fly me up to Seattle to meet the staff. When do you go? End of the week. They're treating it almost as a formality. I'd say the job is mine, assuming we come to terms. It's exciting, Neil. Isn't that exciting for you? I'm excited. This is going to be good for all of us. Throw those out. I want to go through them all again. Probably not. Well, couldn't you just say yes? That's what mothers are for. Give maternal reassurance. Like you do with Clea? I'm very maternal with Clea. She just doesn't need a lot of it. She's very self-sufficient. <laughs> when you're on your own, you darn well better be self-sufficient. Well, what is that supposed to mean? It means what it means. Oh, thanks. That clears it up. Okay. Let me put it this way. How much time have you spent with Clea since Simon died? I'm with her every day. But have you actually talked to her about Simon? About her feelings? Have you held her, reassured her? She doesn't turn to me for that, Mother. Why are you attacking me? It's not an attack. It's just an observation. From someone who looks at you and sees herself. What? When Neil called me in Santa Fe, he said, Nora needs you. Those words rang in my ears. I'd never heard them before. <laughs> Nora needs you. You never needed me. Not since you were a little child. Or so I thought. Because you never came to me for things. As I traveled back here, during that long night ride home, the closer I got, the more I began to, to panic. I didn't know how to help you, what to say or what to do. <sighs> but I needn't have worried. I haven't had to do anything. Because you haven't turned to me. In the weeks since I've been home, we, we haven't even talked. I mean, heart to heart. On one hand, that's 
then a relief. And on the other, it's just made me feel empty. Yeah. Useless. Oh, don't ever feel that, Mama. I know you're there for me if I need it. I just don't need it. Oh, that's just it, my darling. You do need it. You just don't know how to ask. And I don't know how to make you. in the dryer. Have horses in Seattle? No. I haven't been riding since. I know. Neither have I. Do you think it would be all right if I took Perseus out? No. I'd rather you didn't. Just once before we leave? I don't know. Please. Well, maybe if you wear a helmet. You want to come with me? No, I... I don't think I'm ready yet. Do you know how long it's been since we went riding together? Just you and me? Eleven and a half months. Please come with me, Mom. It's all been freshly painted, so it's very, very clean. All the furniture is top of the line. It's fully stocked with glassware and china, kitchenware. All the appliances are new, and you have your own washer and dryer. Uh, two bedrooms and uh, two full baths. We can arrange a cleaning service if you like, and there's reserved parking. I'll take it. Good. God. Thank you, ma'am. Paris. Oh, none for me. If I was overindulges, I'm the designated chef. <laughs> Is an English saddle easier or harder to ride? It's probably harder at first. Some people think it's more graceful. Would you say that I'm graceful? I'd say potentially that you're very graceful. Would you teach me to write English? Oh, Clea. We don't have a lot of time. But we could start tomorrow right after school. Okay. 
Okay. I love hearing Louise play. It's soothing, like a warm bath. I envy people who have musical talent. Yeah, my grandmother made me take piano lessons. I had to practice every day, which I regarded as punishment, seeing as I just wanted to be out riding my horse. She hadn't been such a stubborn little brat. you are. Did you know that when the breeze blows this way, you can hear the wind chimes from Oz and Iris's walnut tree? I never noticed that. Me neither. But I've been noticing things I never did before, so now I can end up missing all of it. <laughs> you having second thoughts about leaving? No. Are you? No. That's good. All right. I've been discovering things, too. Amazing things. Like the fact that you can play the guitar. <laughs> it's not that hard. Luis has been teaching me and Simon for about a year now. I'm not talking about how hard it is. I'm talking about the fact that I was completely unaware. I thought I knew my children inside out. I don't even know how much I know and how much I don't know. You've never talked to me about Simon's death. What happened? How you felt? How you feel? I realize I've been selfish. Treating this as my own personal tragedy. Not thinking about what you might be feeling. Thanks, Mom. It's more graceful. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Really? Sure, it just takes time. It's good, your first time posting. I wish we... Wish what, Claire? Nothing. You wish what? I wish things were different. I 
miss you, Dad. Missed you too, honey. You look good, Neil. I am good. I wasn't sure where you two were. I called Maggie. She didn't mention you were out riding. Huh? Now you know. Looks like I missed a heck of a cookout. <laughs> Oz outdid himself. I'm gonna miss Oz's barbecues. I'm gonna miss Oz and Iris. But me, you're not too sure about, huh? Yeah, I'll miss you a lot, Maggie. When we buy our new house, we'll make sure there's a terrific guest room for you. With the private bathroom, please. And monogram towels. <laughs> I think you'll like the temporary apartment. It's got a great view. Furniture is nothing to write home about, but it shouldn't take us too long to find a house we like. I checked out your new high school. It's big, but modern, not the urban nightmare you were dreading. And the kids look just like the kids here, except with more colorful hair. <laughs> My new secretary made a list for you, Nora, of all the um... OK. What am I not getting here? Neil, I'm not as sure about this move as I thought I was. I know you've been working hard, doing what you felt was in all of our best interests. And I went along with it, but I wasn't thinking very clearly. And now you are. Yes, I believe I am. Neil, you need to understand. Understand what, Nora? That you were impulsive and self-absorbed? I understand that. I've always understood it. This isn't just about me. Since you've been gone, I've gotten closer to Clea in a way that I'm ashamed to say I never have. Well, now you're trying to bring Clea into your camp. I don't have a camp. Sure you do. It used to be you and Simon. It was never like that. Oh, yes, it was. And now you're recruiting Clea? Well, I won't let you do it. Clea and I will leave here without you. Dad. I don't want to leave home. nothing to do with this. Neil, listen to me. You expect me to give in, like I always do, like I always have. You had to board horses. You had to teach the children to ride. I gave in to you every time, crumbled before the will of the almighty Nora. Well, not this time. You go ahead. You stay here with your mother and your daughter and your precious horses. I'll be in Seattle. Liked you, Neil. I know you're a good man. I was just always afraid that you couldn't handle her. She's tough. I could never handle her. I was afraid when the chips were down, you, you wouldn't know what to do. And the chips are down now, Neil. You've got to fight to keep your family together. I am fighting for myself for once. Yeah, but don't just walk away. Go back to the farm. Face her. Talk it out. Oh, I see. It's up to me. I have to reach out. I have to go back, give in, accommodate. That's not what well, I'm not saying. Not anymore. Never again. Bye, Maggie.
Those are so good. Mm-hmm. I never remember you making a pot roast before, Mom. Oh, I must have once. Maybe when you were in grade school or something. I remember Grandma used to make huge meals every day. Yes, and Grandma was also a size 16. I was school today, honey. It was okay. You want to ditch your homework? Go catch a movie at the mall? Maybe Grandma wants to join us. No, let's just leave the dishes and go. No, I'd better study. <laughs> what am I going to do with her? You all done? Thanks for dinner, Grandma. I'll leave that, honey. I'll clean up. You go study. I'll be upstairs. late, I heard you. Tell me. All right, then. You just nod your head yes or no, okay? Are you crying about your dad? I know you miss him, honey. But you're going to visit him soon. And it's not your fault. He's gone. But it is. It is. All of it is my fault, Grandma. Everything that's happened. Oh, honey, why would you want to feel like that? I don't want to feel it. It's true. <laughs> Everything is horrible. It's my fault. Oh, well, not everything. You and your mother have gotten closer. <laughs> That's only because she doesn't know. Know what? What, baby? <laughs> that I killed Simon. Oh, Clea. I killed Simon. It's my fault that he's dead. I talked him into writing, and then I made him race me, which he didn't even want to do, but I made him. And then sad balk that Simon fell, and it was because of me. No, it's not your fault. It was an accident. Kill him. Can't carry that with you. Oh, Clea, my sweet Clea. Why did you keep that in all this time? <laughs> oh, Mama. I am so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, baby. Okay. Right here. Thanks for the hay, Oz. I appreciate it. No problem. Iris and I are glad that you decided not to sell the farm. You know, I've lived my whole life next to your family. 
just wouldn't be the same. No, nothing will ever be the same, Oz. Simon's death saw to that. It took him away. Now it's taken away Neil. You're laying that weight on Simon's shoulders? Let that poor boy rest in peace. What are you saying? You heard me. I spoke plain enough. Don't blame your marriage problems on the dead boy. Your marriage had just as many problems while he was alive. Now, you just hold on a minute. Now listen to me. I don't claim to know everything that goes on between a man and a woman. But turn the clock back to that last day before the accident. Now, you tell me I'm wrong. Have you been waiting for me? No, I'm a little early. I'll just be a minute. Take your time. I can pick up the pills, too. No, Mother, I won't forget. All right. Bye-bye. Hello, Nora. You've made the place look nice. Didn't change a thing. You haven't been here in a while. Do you hear from Neil? Practically every day. He calls to check on clients, see how I'm getting along. Does he ask about us? Of course. Why do you think he's really calling? Well, that's when Neil got the award from the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, I've forgotten about that. You weren't there. You were busy that day. Hmm. So how is he doing? Is he doing okay up there? How okay do you think he could be without his family? You don't like me much, do you? Not much. But I like Neil. And I want what's best for him. I don't think he's going to be able to get over Simon's death without your help. Me in. Dirty socks and stuff. You know, that's for I've seen your socks. Shoe combo. Comes with extra egg roll. I don't need food, Neil. What I need is you. My whole life. You've always just been there. Like the air I breathe. You don't appreciate air. So you're suddenly short of breath, and then it's all you can think about. Home isn't home without you. I didn't know that till you were gone. I need you so much. It's still just about what you need. You haven't asked about me. Well, I was going to ask. I want to ask. I don't mean just now. I mean ever. Well, 
That'll change. I know I've got work to do, Neil. I'll do it. I don't want it to be work. I want it to be instinctive. But that can't happen. Leopards don't change their spots. You're so angry. Why are you so angry? Well, you can thank yourself for that. You do blame me. For all of it. Look, you came here to get me to come back. Well, forget it. You've made your choice, I've made mine. Go home, Nora. I used to love taking care of the clients. I was good at it, too. But now I've got to get out and sell, which requires patience and tact. Two of my greatest virtues, I'm sure you've noticed. Maybe it gets easier with practice. Maybe. Uh, can I talk to you? Alone? I'm a potted plant. Look, uh, you said if I'd ever given you a ring or anything, he'd be throwing it in my face. So, uh, don't throw it in my face, okay? I miss you. I even miss all the drama. And uh, I can deal with it as long as you need me to. Come here. This should be pretty sturdy. Need any help packing? I got it. Do you think it'll rain up there? I think that's a pretty safe bet. So, when you're up there this weekend, why don't you take a good look around? See how you like it up there. You mean, say how I like it for more than just a weekend? Just think about it. I made reservations for tonight at a restaurant that's supposedly very upscale. I've never been, so you'll be the judge. <laughs> Dad, what do I know? In Elk Springs, upscale is any place that doesn't have a drive through window. And we've got tickets for the ice show tomorrow night. Dad. I really appreciate you going all out for me. But what I want to do is have a look around town. The high school. And... The high school? I want to know what it'd be like to live here. Clea, oh, yeah. did you and your mother have a fight or something? No. I want to come home. No, wait, 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 wait. You and your mother live at home. No. Home is where you are. 
I want to be home with you, wherever that has to be. And your mother? I think she feels the same way. So, why don't we ditch the fine dining and check out the fast food joints because I need to know what Seattle burritos taste like. back early. Well, so I see. I'm glad. She's out riding. Something happened to Clea? No. Clea's fine. She's here. Back at the house. Is this where you found him? Yes. I never came out to look. I wasn't ready for him to die. I haven't come to terms with it. I'm still filled with anger and grief that I haven't let myself feel. I think I have to do that before I can do anything else. I'd like to do it with you. If you let me. <laughs> 